Well, welcome everybody to Workshop Studios, and today's project is this little electric scooter. What is it called? An E-Zip. I don't know what's wrong with it. Apparently, either the battery charger is not working or something, but it doesn't seem to either charge up or hold a charge. So, let's get started. Alright, so our first step on this little scooter is to look at the charger. Um, because the... Um, Folks who own this say that it the charger looked like it said that it was always charging. So here it's obviously not plugged in. That goes into the into the scooter and that goes into the plug, obviously. Just a quick note on diagnosing these kinds of things. You really have three places, well, four we'll call it. You've got is it plugged in? And the answer is no right now. But then you've got all of the cables, if you want, all of the ones that run into the charger and then out to here just to make a sure that nothing's really wrong just inspect them and make sure that <clears throat> there's nothing ish, no issue there and it looks they look fine um, the next thing is is that you look at places where the cables bend a lot and that's usually right here and this part of a plug if you might is is a strain relief so that it doesn't bend at a sharp angle so that's all right but this one doesn't look so good that's got a little bit of a strain relief but it looks like that might be a problem another area is inside of a plug like this and usually I just give them a wiggle and if they're if I feel anything wiggling that's not a good sign usually they need to be taken apart and just check the the leads on it <clears throat> the other thing to remember about this is that because it's a scooter, that means kids are probably doing the charging, which means they're not going to be very gentle. They're going to yank it out as they go out to play. So that is always suspect. So let's try it out here. I'm going to plug it in. And we'll see what happens here. All right. So I've got it plugged in. And there comes the light. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing with this. Hopefully it stays in focus. There we go. So see it flashing there? I'm not plugged in and it's flashing and the the green light on says charge okay and obviously it can't be because this thing is so it looks like this end may be causing it to see how it's it's doing that when I wiggle this so let's take this apart and take a look So there's three screws on this, as you can see. There's one of them. What that does is holds this um, this plug inside there. Let me take that out of here. These these two clamp down on the um, the wire coming in. Uh, obviously, this is not plugged in now. So I'll show you, it's not plugged in. <laughs> We don't want it plugged in when we're doing this. <clears throat> All right. There we go. So there's the little bracket off of there. And the idea is now you can push the wire through here. And that comes out. And then we can look at these connections and make sure everything looks all right. So something was jiggling. Now, <clears throat> these, oh, let's stay in focus here. These are not supposed to be in contact with the housing here. But I'm already seeing that this is sticking out just far enough because of the solder that if you wiggle this thing, it's liable to, to do that. So maybe a little uh, electrical tape uh, or something on that might, might be a good idea. But the connections look good. I don't I don't see anything broken. <clears throat> it doesn't mean that it's not broken in here in the wire itself coming into it, but um, that all looks good. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and plug this in again, and then we'll see if, if we can get this thing to jiggle um, some more. All right, so now this is taken apart, and we're going to plug it in and see what happens. And it's still jiggling. All right, so let's see what else could make it jiggle. Let's 
it off now. That's not making it come on good. Well, I don't know. Maybe we got something here. Let's play with this a little bit more. I don't want to touch those with my bare fingers because those are live now. I don't see anything there. It's, oh, there we go. It went on again. So what's... Maybe it's the power cable coming in. I'm jiggling the cable here. Oh, there we go. That came on. Well, let me keep jiggling and I'll come back to you after I figure it out. All right, so I've hooked up my multimeter to it. And I'm going to plug it in here. And it's registering 27 we'll call it 28 volts and the output on it is supposed to be 24 but that's close enough so um, and I'm set on on DC volts because this is supposed to be a battery charger it means that it's going to be DC not AC so it looks like the battery charger seems to be working so we'll try it out we'll plug it in and see what happens to the to the um, bike or scooter Well, okay so we have it plugged in the green light is not on we have the switch is here on off that's on now the battery shows that it must be charging and on the handle there's a green light that says it's charging and this is the throttle so I'm going to turn the throttle and voila. so there's power going through the battery charger into the scooter up here and there so that's all working so I don't know if the battery is holding a charge it doesn't look like it so that may be the next place to start is to go see if the battery is got dirty terminals or what so let's try that actually first I think I'll let it sit and charge for quite a while and see if anything holds on it well sorry I got a little ahead of myself and, and forgot to run the camera <laughs> but uh, I took the cover off of this uh, it just has one little screw in it and it comes off and then there was a pack in here that had this cover on it like this just had to unzip it and feed the, the cord out of here <clears throat> and what we have in here are two um, I, I'm guessing these are motorcycle batteries both 12 volts so this is a 24 volt system um, and what I found was that this power cable was unplugged, which would mean that it wouldn't run very well. Uh, it wouldn't charge up, probably. But, um, so, what we're going to do now is to try and determine whether this thing charges. These batteries both show 12 volts, and when I plug the charger in, I use my multimeter, and... Uh, it takes goes from reading 12 volts to reading about 14 volts when the charger is plugged in, which is good. So that means the charger should be working. <clears throat> um, what the other thing that was missing out of here is there's a little little guy in here that's a uh, fuse holder, and the fuse was gone. So I'm going to put a new fuse in there uh, and see what we get out of this. Uh, so anyhow. That's kind of catching you up on what was happening here. Sorry about that. Didn't get the, the camera running. <clears throat> but we'll uh, see if we can't get this thing back up and running again. Looks like everything's working. Battery charger. The batteries are good. The um, I, When I get power to it, the wheel turns fine. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just put a new fuse in there and it'll all be working. So, let's try that out. All right. Apparently, they want to fuse this rated at 40 amps, but... Uh, highest I have is 30 amps, so we'll give it a try. But anyhow, the fuse is right here. I hope you can see that. <clears throat> and the fuse just pushes in there like that. Just a regular auto automotive fuse, the best I can tell. I guess that's stuck in there. Didn't go in very far. Feels like it wants to go in farther. Okay, I guess that's it. Then this lid can close down on top. Hmm. Let me work on that for a sec. All right, well, I have the fuse in there. 
Uh, and what I've done is is I have these rubber straps to hold it down here. I'm sitting on top of my uh, table saw. It just is a great bench uh, for these kind of things. But I've strapped it down so that this won't fall over. But I've also propped it up so the wheel's off the ground here. And now what I'm going to do, it, it looks like everything's working. The charger seems to have charged the batteries up. And so what I'm going to do is hold the throttle down with a clamp. And I'm just going to let it run for a bit. So <clears throat> we'll see if it <clears throat> how it does and if it discharges the batteries. So let me get that started while you guys are, are watching with me. Okay, so you can hear the wheel going. I have a clamp up there. You see the clamp is right there, just holding the throttle. <clears throat> and I'm going to let the batteries run down a bit. It's supposed to be able to go for a little while, but there's no load on it, obviously. But. So we'll see if we, uh, if we can run it down a bit, and then uh, we'll charge it up. All right, so I've run it for a bit. Um, hopefully the batteries run down. Everything feels fine. Nothing getting too hot. I've plugged the charger in, but I haven't plugged it into the into the scooter yet. So I'm going to plug this in, and this should change to charging. And we'll see how that does. And it did. That's the red light on there. You see that red light that says it's charging. So let's leave that plugged in for a bit and see if it stays charging. And I'm going to guess that everything's probably fine on this, and we can just put it back together. So there really wasn't anything terribly wrong, other than it was missing a fuse, hopefully. So let's try it out here, and we'll see how that works. Then we'll take it out for a test drive. All right, so we're going to put it all back together. Now, it wasn't like this when I took it apart. It was all in pieces, so I'm guessing. But you got to shove all this stuff back in there, and that does take a little bit of effort to get it to fit. And then that goes on there. And a couple of screws go up here. Okay. So here's where the uh, batteries plug in. And the trick here is to get the batteries back into this bag. And I'll back up and show you how that looks. Well, here we go. It seems to be working, um, so I'll show you. It's a little big. I'm a little big for it, but here we go. Oop, gotta turn it on first. And ah, ride him, cowboy. There's a spot on this scooter on the back where somebody can stand so I could take my best gal here on, on, for a ride. <laughs> I think she said no. She's not going on a ride. Unless she... <laughs> okay, one more time around and then we'll, we'll say that we're deep or done. Here we go.
project completed. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. Woohoo! <laughs>